Hi, this is Troy Rink from Denver 7, reporting from UC Health Training Center on the Broncos. Thursday brought more good news for Drew Locke. He continues to make progress with that right rotator cuff strain. No reason to think he won't start against the Patriots, even though Coach Fangio refuses to announce it. I guess playing the game is ship game. Whatever the case, look for Locke to start. They need him to develop. Here's the deal. I don't think the Broncos can make the playoffs at this point. I hope they do. They need to go 8-4 and four over their final 12 games. It's a rugged, difficult task when looking at their schedule. The most important thing that can happen from this season is getting a clear read on Drew Locke. Why? Because they need to know if they're going to be a top 10 pick in the draft, if they're going to need a quarterback. The other thing is they need to realize they have to get better in their own division. Here's the situation now. Suddenly the AFC West is loaded at quarterback. Patrick Mahomes, MVP, Super Bowl winner. Derek Carr, 11 touchdowns, one interception. He's had a bit of a renaissance. And Justin Herbert, the rookie for the Chargers, nine touchdowns, three picks. He's winless. That's not his fault. He has played well enough to lead the Chargers into contention. The Broncos, six touchdowns, six interceptions, three different starting quarterbacks. It won't work. It's just not good enough. So over these next 12 games, that's the one advantage of this Patriots game getting pushed back. It gives Locke another line on his resume, another chance to prove himself. You want by the end of the year there to be no ambiguity on Locke to know either he's the guy or not. I believe he will be, but he's got to show it in his play and prove he can stay available and on the field. Those injuries, they're starting to stack up one more and he will be labeled as injury prone. Again, I think Locke has all the makings of being a franchise quarterback. These next 12 weeks will tell the story. Reporting from UC Health Training Center, Troy.